All right, check it out. Today we're diagnosing a suspension noise, as I understood. And this one was a little bit tricky. Got some nice new parts in there. But uh, over the right bump, it'd make a noise. So we've installed some of these fancy things. Check out what we got. This is the chassis ear. And we've got four different microphones on there. Let's, let's locate number one right now. Number one is on the coil spring right there. See that clamp? Ran it over here, strapped it here. We've got two on the left sway bar, three on the left trailing arm. So as you can see, sway bar. And then we've got one right here at the trailing arm. And right there, there's a bushing that's kind of interesting. And then four is over here on that other trailing arm bushing. So trying to diagnose this noise is tough. We can't get it to make it on the lift. We can't get it to make it on the alignment rack. We can only really get it to make it sitting right here on the ground. And we got to bounce it pretty wild. So we're going to lower it, bounce it, and tune into the different channels. We'll start with channel number one. Second. All right, so, okay, go ahead and bounce it. And now I'm going to put the microphone here. You can hear a bit of a noise on one. Okay, two. Not much on two. Ooh, really loud on three. Different and kind of quieter on four. What do you think is the loudest? Marty, what do you think? Turn to three again. Back up and look at that. Three is the left trailing arm bushing. So let's go ahead, back up, and we'll look at that. So as we're going up on the lift right now, we'll just do a quick explanation of what happened. When we put each of these four channels on something, it's because we're trying to track down the noise. So three being the loudest, we think is going to be the left side trailing arm bushing. Um, so we can turn this off, but um, you can also hook a headphone jack up to this. That was going to be harder to get on camera. So we're going to lift it, take a look at that number three area. Yeah, set on the lock, lock for us. Okay, so our suspect area is right up in there. Now what we're going to do to further diagnose it is we're actually going to spray that bushing with... Uh, some WD-40 or another type of lubricant. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to make a mess. Okay, that's more than enough. But Yum. stick the straw right up in the bushing a little bit better. In the bushing, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Now let's lower it back down and let's bouncy jouncy. Very nice. Watch this. All right, so Aiden, go ahead. We'll, we'll go back to three. That's already quite a bit different. Yeah, we'll go four. Four is louder. Three is quieter. All right, so you know what we're going to do? Let's lube up that right side trailing arm bushing. But we're going to say mainly our noise is that that bushing, it changed drastically with the lube. We're going to double check and hit the other side. Now, the, the lube may be kind of a temporary fix. It's more of a diagnostic uh, tool than a, than a fix, per se. Alrighty, so we're going to make it a little neater. Well, not much. Look at the catch there. Woo! Marty's got it. He's got to be your cleaner up. All right, and then we'll uh, do the same thing. Lower it and jounce it. All right, so you know the routine. When this hits the ground, we'll have this on. We'll switch between three and four. We'll see how it sounds. I'm going to move my mic right to here. Three sounds pretty good. Mitchell, will you press four? Definitely quieter. Keep bouncing. Oh, yeah, absolutely quieter. All right, so you can hear it's substantially better. So if we want this to be perfect, we're probably going to need to sell those bushings or trailing arms, okay?